Once I harness the power of lightning, I'll be able to rule the world! <laughs> Thanks! Dear Tim and Moby, My brother says Nikola Tesla was the most amazing guy ever. I say it's Batman. Who's right? From Elena. Sorry, Elena, but your brother's right. Tesla is way cooler than Batman. He was born in 1856 in what's now Croatia. One day, when young Nico was petting his cat, a spark of static electricity jumped from its fur to his hand. At that moment, he decided to spend his life studying electricity. He grew particularly interested in its link with magnetism. The relationship between these forces lay at the heart of Tesla's greatest inventions. It had long been known that electric currents produce magnetic fields, and that moving a magnet near a wire would create a current in the wire. Moving a wire through a magnetic field had the same result. This phenomenon, electromagnetic induction, was behind the first practical generators and motors. Using induction, you could convert motion into electricity, and electricity back into mechanical motion. By the time Tesla was a young man, electricity was powering industrial equipment and lighting up buildings. But he had already thought of designs that would greatly improve the technology. Well, induction naturally produces alternating current, where the direction of electricity switches back and forth. But AC was tricky to work with. Engineers couldn't figure out how to build a decent AC motor. So early generators and motors were built to work with direct or one-way current. In these systems, the key moving part, the rotor, had to physically rub up against the power source over and over again. They wasted lots of electricity, and their parts wore out all the time. Plus, all those sparks were a constant fire risk. In the 1880s, Tesla began to develop an idea for an AC motor, but his plans weren't going anywhere in Europe. So he set sail for America. He landed in New York, where he went to work for the world's most famous inventor, Thomas Edison. Edison had just developed the first power grid for electrifying entire cities. It was revolutionary, but like everything else at the time, it relied on DC power. The power plants had to generate low voltages that would be safe to use in the home. Such a weak current couldn't travel far, so lots of plants were needed. But Tesla envisioned AC generators that could crank out a million volts. That meant fewer power plants, since high voltage can travel much farther. <laughs> no, you're right. It'd be really dangerous if a million volts came out of your wall sockets. But Tesla knew that he could reduce AC current to safer levels with a transformer. The high voltage runs through a large coil, creating a strong magnetic field. That induces a current in a smaller coil nearby. The smaller the second coil is, the weaker the current that's induced. So after you run high voltage through a transformer, it's perfectly safe for home use. Uh, no, Edison hated it. Since he owned most of the patents for DC power distribution, he'd lose money if cities switched to AC. So Tesla quit working for Edison. But soon, his ideas attracted the attention of a rich industrialist named George Westinghouse. He wanted to build the AC motor Tesla had been dreaming of for years. It was an ingenious design. The central rotor had wire coils on its ends. A set of surrounding coils were electrified in a precise sequence. Their magnetic fields would induce a current in the rotor's coils. Then, the competing magnetic fields would cause the rotor to spin. This induction motor was light years ahead of anything else at the time. Unlike older models, it ran on AC, and the rotor spun without touching anything. Today, variations are still used in everything from cars to air conditioners. Next, Westinghouse used Tesla's AC power system to light the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, which was like a 19th century Disney World. 27 million visitors saw AC in action, and just like that, the war between alternating and direct current pretty much ended. Today, almost every electric system on Earth distributes AC power. Nope, Tesla wasn't finished. Soon he undertook a series of experiments in wireless energy transmission. His dream was similar to the wireless technology we enjoy today, a system that could beam all sorts of information around the globe. 
The key was high frequency electricity. Well, the AC power that comes out of the wall has a frequency of 60 Hertz. That means the current switches direction 60 times a second. Tesla built a remarkable device that could boost the frequency to hundreds of thousands of Hertz. It also boosted the power to millions of volts. It was called the Tesla coil. It could be modified to broadcast radio waves for miles and miles. And in fact, that's just what an inventor named Guglielmo Marconi used it for, much to Tesla's dismay. Tesla couldn't convince the courts that Marconi's radio had infringed on his patents. He kept working on his own projects, including a way to transmit electric power wirelessly. He also said that he was working on an energy beam weapon, a force field, and a camera that could take pictures of thoughts. But he never took notes, and some of these ideas were probably fantasies. As he got older, he started suffering from serious mental illness. When he died in 1943, he was broke and remembered more for his eccentric ideas than his serious ones. That same year, the Supreme Court ruled that Marconi had, in fact, used Tesla's patents. And these days, the public is more aware of Tesla's accomplishments. An internet campaign even raised millions of dollars to preserve his New York laboratory. The goal is to turn it into a museum dedicated to Tesla's legacy. Oh yes, there'll be a Tesla coil, all right. One large enough to communicate with the Alpha Centauri system. Ah! Ha 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 ha!